Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Grunchump1. So, just a review of what happened the last time you finished watching. We completed World 1, including Bowser Jr. Fire of Flotilla. I just recorded its menu just now. And speaking of menus, besides the galaxy I'm about to do, do I owe you guys any menus? Uh, I don't think I do, but... Uh, just tell me if I do, but, uh, anyways, now we're on to World 2, as you can see by this video being titled World 2 Part 1. Uh, now, on to the first galaxy of World 2. It is called Puzzle Plank Galaxy. Now, as you may or may not have guessed, it's about a puzzle. Plank-like, kind of like a galaxy. So that's why it's called Puzzle Plank Galaxy. Okay, the first one is called the Puzzling Picture Book. Oh man, I really hate the Comet Metal for this mission. Oh man. Okay, so when I first start out, you start up up here. I love the music to this galaxy. I don't know why. Um, important to to proceed in this galaxy. Ground pounding. In case you don't remember, it's A, then Z. I just love the violin music. Or is that... Yeah, I like the country violin music. Alright. So let's collect some star bits by, uh... By the way, these springboards... Uh, if you ground pound on them, you go, like, flying... So, uh, a couple other things you can do on this block. You can go to the sides, get the start, ground pound the pegs, get that. Once you're ready to proceed, just go like this. Uh, wigglers, these guys, uh, basically ground pound and flip them over and jump on them. And you can get a bit of star bits. I don't think spinning has any effect on them. Okay, so that peg will give you the um, sling star to let you go to the next galaxy, but you want to pick ground pound all four pegs, because they will See, this one in particular. Sorry. That was kind of pathetic singing in there, but I'm actually not that bad at singing usually. Uh, and if you pick that last one in the corner there, you can get some coins. Oh, I just missed the song, sorry. Now, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I don't think you can. If you flip to the other side of this galaxy, however, uh, that leads to the secret mission. I'm not going to do it yet, though. Because I don't have the coins required. Yeah, and that's why you really want to get that one peg there. Like that. The ground pound that one peg in that one galaxy because you're going to need the coins. And if you go up here, bunch of coins. Now, these things. You know how it was completely flat on the other side? Well, if you ground pound it, it goes into the earth. You actually don't need to ground pound all of these all the way, but I want to, so. Be patient! Um, if you come down here, this is going to be important for the secret mission. Um, I think I'm just going to display that in the secret mission, like how to get all these coins. Uh. If you ground pound in these pegs, you get more coins out of them, but, yeah, like I said, I'll give them more coin getting tips. Um. Yeah, oh no wait, it's not the comet metal that I hate, it's a green star that I hate. You want to come out here, collect the comet metal, and race back before it's too late. It's the green star around here that I don't like, sorry. Uh... So basically once that gets cut down, just wall jump off of it. Yeah, beware of these buzz saws, they will hurt you. Oh, see? They killed the bug. 
Now, I want to go really fast through these areas, so I'm not talking too much. Because you don't want to get cut off, if you know what I mean. And there, and as soon as you press that button, the sling star appears, but it also, yeah. Now, as you might be able to tell by the Luma here, we have a boss fight coming up, I think. It's not really that much of a boss fight, though. Um, I'll see you guys in just one second here, and I'll, I'll be right back for reasons that I cannot explain right now. Alright, sorry about that. Um, by the way, those purple bug enemies, the way to defeat them is to jump on top of them and ground pound them. Like everything else in this level. Um, they're called Mandy Bugs. And... Eh, what the heck, let's just buy, uh, Life Shroom. <laughs> Fell me off with exact change! Ugh, I don't want to give you too much. How are you gonna refund me? <laughs> Sorry, kind of a creepy thought. Think about it. Okay, not creepy, but gross. Okay, so what you gotta do on these puzzles, it's not that difficult. Um, if you see a spot like this, basically, ground pound it in the correct position. That's basically what you gotta do. And if that still doesn't help you, there's kind of a picture to follow, obviously. As I hope you saw, or else you're blind. And don't worry, these, um... Around, so yeah. Oh, you thought your gr your star was just gonna appear after this, but no. Hang on, there's something that I want to do here first, and that's collect these star bits. Okay, now that's Mandy Bug. There's two of them. And as ah, and as soon as you grab on one, this one gets mad. Um, I'm not gonna put in the boss text here because it's. Like, it's almost like a regular enemy. It's barely a boss. So I'm not putting in boss text. Because it's really easy. You just gotta ground pound it. Oh, look. There's an underside to this planet. Is there any seeds under here? Huh. I guess not. There should be. That'd be a great place to hide a secret. Like a one-up. Alright, so that's our first mission of Puzzle of Plank Galaxy. Okay, um, now, theoretically, after the main mission, it's the Purple Coin Shadow Vault, which is the Comet Metal, and then Bugaboom's Back, which is the secret mission. I'm gonna do Bugaboom's Back first. Um, and now I have to, sh now I have to show you some ways. Now, that's where the Hungry Luma comes in during the, co like, uh, coin. So, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, this is the mission with the Hungry Luma in it, like the pink launch star. Oh, I've been calling those sling stars the entire time. They're actually called launch stars. The little ones are called sling stars. Sorry. <laughs> so, does this contain coins or star bits? Yeah, it just contains servants. So there's nothing on this planet to help us. Yeah, spinning does nothing to these wigglers, so. Oh, you can also spin them, too. Oh, I never knew that. Um, I'm just going to worry about getting coins for now. And remember, in this top right-hand corner peg, get a couple coins out of there. You want to collect as many coins as humanely possible. During these uh, hungry Luma missions. Whoops. Sorry. I don't know whether or not you heard that. But, sorry. Okay, so if you come into this warp pipe, I said it would uh, touch up on this a little more. You want to go right through the center of these. Which. Learning how to do this is important because for the secret mission, of this, for the comet mission, sorry, of this galaxy, uh, you need to learn how to do that or else you're going to be bad. Like I missed that one right there. That's really bad. Okay, so if you can collect most of the coins in here, the rest of this should be quite a breeze. So we need 13 more coins. Uh, the Octagoomba up here, you want to 
Ah. Ah. You want to jump on him to get a coin out of him. Eek! Jeez, I keep getting hit. And then... Uh, Starbits come out of that one. Coins come out of this one, though. And we need two more coins. If you go into these bushes on the under on the side of the planet, you can get some coins out of there. So now that we have 70 coins, which is the price of the Hungry Luma, let's go visit our friend, the Hungry Luma. Which has already been turned into a launch star for me because I've done this mission already. Which I apologize for that. I wish it wasn't like that, but it is. So it'll be launched over here. And just a bit of a warning, this is a boss fight. Okay, this guy, his name is Bugaboom. Basically, the way this guy works is that you kill him just like any Mandy bug. You want to get on his back somehow? Ground pound it. Except, the first time you do it, he starts to fly. That's not the only problem, though. Once he's flying, his underbelly will start releasing bombs. That's not fair. See? Okay, so what you want to do probably is you want to get a cloud. Cloud. Is you want to get make a cloud. Oh, you got to do it quick too because I'll tip you off on a side. What you usually want to do is you want to get high in the air with a cloud. Usually by backspinning and then get on his back quick. Like when he's right underneath your cloud, ground pound because you'll ground pound like right through the cloud. And so the, after the second time you ground pound him, he'll get angry at you. Okay, well, not just angry in general. Not in this, well, I guess he's angry at you. And it's harder to catch him because he's going faster. This is a lot harder, trust me. So if it take a while, it's the game's fault, not mine. Oh, jeez. He sideways right past me. Yeah, there we go. Wow, I stayed on the cloud. What a glitch. All right, so after the third time you ground pound him, of course, you get your well-deserved power star. Da -da -da. Okay, now on to the final gold star mission of this game. Purple Coin Shadow Vault. Now, this is a comet mission. Yes, that's right. Comet mission, um, and it's in that place where we found all those coins for the uh, Hungry Luma mission. So basically, we've got now we've got a hundred coins and a hundred purple coins in here, and some comet, some shadow Luigi's following us. I forget what their official names call is. Now you want to jump right in the center of these, and you'll collect all of them for sure. Uh oh, I missed one. Now. If you miss too many of them, and you have to go back and do a couple, you're not going to get, you're not going to complete this in time, I can practically guarantee it. See, I'm not even following a really specific order. That's really bad of me. I'm really sorry for that. Uh, jeez, and I'm scooching up against a lot of walls. 17 seconds. Oh yeah, I got this. There we go. And after the power star appears, of course, all our what are they called? Um, uh, ah, oh jeez. Oh well. Um, cosmic clones. There we go. All right, green star number one. You can already see it from here. Uh, what you gotta do is you gotta come over to this question mark block, get over to the edge of that trampoline, and you wanna spring jump your way on top of it. Okay, well, ground pound springboard your way on top of it to be specific. There we go. Up. Uh, there we go. Kind of like that. And then once you're on top of it, 
Simply a backward somersault your way up into your green star. Now on to green star number three. Now I'm talking really fast because this one's really difficult to get, especially for Mario. Now what you gotta do is before the bus uh, carves away that wall, if you're Mario, you really have to be fast because you have to wall jump it. But if you're Luigi, who can jump a little bit higher, I believe you can just backwards... You can just backwards spin off of this. You can just backwards somersault and spin into it, like that. But, if you're playing as Mario, you can't do that. But, if you are playing as Luigi, which you can when you're doing the green stars at any time, it's really easy to collect that because you can just backwards somersault and spin into it. Alright, without further ado, let's start green star number three. I've kind of ended this one pretty late, but let's start green star number three now. Something I want to show you about this uh, launch star. I actually found some. I actually found a way that you can glitch your way up there. You don't have to ground on the pegs in the back. What you gotta do is you gotta backwards jump, spot, shake the Wii remote, then shake the Wii remote again. Then you'll be the second time you shake the Wii remote, you'll be close enough to the launch star where you can get there. All right, I'll see you guys at the third green star now. Okay, for green star number three, when this piece of wood gets cut off, you want to float down with it, and because green star number three is right underneath the plank, right next to it. So just float down with it a little bit of ways, and then basically you can walk right into your third green star if you want to. Alright, so you know what? That basically does it for this episode. I mean, we completed an entire galaxy. What more do you want from me, people? Okay, I guess. Why do I sound constipated when I say that? But, um... Yeah. Um... I'll see you guys in the next episode where we will go on to the second part of World 2. World 2? Two, part 2. See you guys there.